Alright, there's a flying Dutchman. He's probably gonna see us. Alright, he didn't actually see us. And there he goes. He did see us. Alright, let's get the freak out of here. Oh no! Hatchling and Slasher is on our tail! Oh god, this is bad. This is not good by any means. And he is fast, dude. Well, what is going on, guys? PTS42 here, and welcome to 3.30 a.m. at Floater Cemetery. Now, this SpongeBob spinoff game is an unofficial sequel to the 3 a.m. at the Krusty Krab. I guess you could put it in the category of DLC, but it is a sequel nonetheless. But before we go ahead and hop into this video, I learned something really cool, and I want to show it to you. All right, guys, check this out. Ready? Yeah, like the video. So there's Mr. Krabs. Looks like he's coming back from the Krusty Krab. He's taking a pit stop at Floater Cemetery. All right. Hmm, Floater Cemetery. I heard there'd be treasure buried in some of these graves. You know, I'm in no hurry to return home. That hash slinging slasher fellow fell behind. There's no way he'll ever catch up. I didn't get to read the rest of it. And here we are at the cemetery. Tab to view your objectives. Let's take a look at this. So we got a to-do list, all right. Dig up Schmitty Werberman Jensen's grave. Yeah, he was number one, I hear. Dig up Wally the Walrus's grave. Dig up Captain Stupid's grave. Dig up Mr. Puff's grave and plunder all three mausoleums. And finally, number six, leave the cemetery. So here we are at Floater Cemetery. I don't like the way this looks, and it looks like we have something right here. Controls. Okay, I don't even have a second. I don't have a second to get away from these guys. They're just hooked straight on me. Come on, give me a break, guys. You don't want a piece of this crab, let me tell you. So it seems like they lost interest in us at the moment. I can see one of them right there. We don't want to- or two of them. We don't want them to spot us, okay? Is that the Flying Dutchman right there? Before we make our way into the cemetery, I need to have a look at the controls. Pro tip, when being chased, try to create some distance, then hide in bushes or behind gravestones. You'll usually escape them that way. All right, and I guess we're gonna have to do exactly that as we make our way into the cemetery. All right, so we have a long list of objectives that we need to do, and I honestly don't know where to begin. It looks like we have a gravestone right here, but I'm not actually able to dig up this one, oddly enough. They got some sort of, like, owl in the tree. Okay, anything that I might be able to do over here, potentially, does not look like it. Okay, and the Flying Dutchman is literally straight up behind us. We got to try to lose this guy, all right? We got to create some distance. Potentially. Oh, God, he's behind. There's another one. Oh, God. I get it. You're the freaking Flying Dutchman, all right? Let's run through these bushes right here. We might be able to escape him. Get through here. Turn off the light and hide over here. Are we good? I think we're good. Yes, the shift in music shows us that we're going to be okay for now. So we need to have a good look around the cemetery. I haven't seen anything so far of indicating any dig spots or anything like that. But we're going to have to just keep an eye out. I feel like that's all we really can do at this point. So we're back by the entrance now. I've got my light on just to illuminate things a little bit more clearly so I can at least see what's going on. And so far, no dig spots. Nothing at all. There's a flying Dutchman over there. We got to lay low. Got to lay low. Oh my god, Gary? Gary! What's wrong with you, man? You alright? Are you gonna be... Are you gonna hurt me? No, he doesn't actually hurt me. Well, at least someone is on my side in the cemetery. Ooh! Look at this right here! I think this is a dig spot. Alright, I'm gonna turn my light off. Hold E to dig grave. Alright, here we go. We're digging this junk. Hopefully no one sneaks up on us. There we go. Objective complete. I'm guessing we're probably gonna have to keep exploring the cemetery until we can finish all of these other objectives. Now, there does seem to be a really big area right here. Is this one of the mausoleums, potentially? Let's have a closer look. Yes, it is. We have to plunder the mausoleum. Oh, God. Someone's behind me. I'm, I'm risking this. Objective complete. And right over there. All right. He was right behind us. Who is that, by the way? Who are you? I have no idea who you are, but I can tell you I don't like your face. Ooh, we have another dig spot right here. I don't have enough time to dig that. I don't have enough time. I gotta lose this kid. Alright, I'm gonna hide in the bushes over here, and hopefully we're gonna be able to lose him. Get ready to turn my light off, and uh, turn it off. Alright, hide behind this rock, and crouch. Alright, we lost him. 
We lost him. All right, I'm going to do some sneaking. All right, I just saw his light for a split second. Now I need to make my... What was that? What is that over there? That's the freaking hash slinging slasher. So far, so good. We've got a big gravestone right here. All right, I'm going to lay low. All right, let's see if we can dig this. We can't... Dude, I can't. I can't with these guys' activity. They are literally all over the freaking place, man. Oh my god. I think I just have to go for it if I'm being completely honest, guys. We just have to start digging and hope that we can actually get this thing off. All right, here we go. Dig. We're digging. We're digging. All right, there's a flying Dutchman. He's probably going to see us. All right, he didn't actually see us. And there he goes. He did see us. All right, let's get the freak out of here. Oh no. Hatchling and Slasher is on our tail. Oh god, this is bad. This is not good by any means. And he is fast, dude. Oh, okay. Well, while we're trying to escape this guy, we might as well try and look around the graveyard to see if we can find any other dick spots. Oh, God. This is wonderful. All right. Looks like we lost him. That's a good sign. And we're real deep in the graveyard now. I still need to find two more mausoleums and I believe maybe two or three more of the specialty graves or the specific graves. I don't know, though, but we're gonna figure it out. Oh, no! Dude! He was number one! We found his grave, Smitty Werberman Jensen! Well, you gotta dig this up. We gotta be number one, okay? We have to get that hat. Objective complete. Okay, let's continue exploring around, and hopefully we can find more of these graves and more of these mausoleums to explore. All right, we got someone straight in front of us. I do see a mausoleum over here in the distance. All right, I'm gonna get on track to it and then hopefully we're gonna be able to run in a straight line away from it And then hide from these guys, so then we can come back to it and dig it up. Here we go. We're hiding. We're hiding All right, and from the sound of things we did escape them. All right now the mausoleum should just be right over this mound Turn on our light just to have a quick look around here All right, let's plunder this get this thing taken care of and that's going to be two mausoleums down. Objective complete. There we go. And I think I do see another grave we can actually dig up right here. No one's around me. Try to do this. Careful. Careful. Get this thing done, Mr. Krabs. Let's go. There we go. Boom. Okay. Looks like there's some big monument over this way. Are we going to be able to make our way over here? And if so, what is this? What do we got right here? Some sort of pirate ship. This must be the Flying Dutchman right here, guys. Can we actually climb up on this thing? Dude, we can! This is awesome! Dude, we are aboard the Flying Dutchman right now. Okay, I don't know why it's here. I mean, obviously because the Flying Dutchman is chasing us, but it looks like it's been crashed. I mean, obviously, look at this junk. It's freaking destroyed. We got another mausoleum right here. Yes, here we go. We got to plunder this junk. I am being chased. This might be a mistake, but I'm going for it because I don't care. There we go. We got it. And I'm being chased again. That one was really close. All seven graves have been robbed. Return to your boat and escape. Really? I robbed everything already, Mr. Krabs? You're way better at this than I thought you would. And now that we have all of the graves robbed, I guess we can escape Floater Cemetery? I mean, all of these guys are currently chasing me, so I don't really like the way this is looking for us right now, but we gotta find the exit. Where is this thing? I think I see the exit over here in the distance. I think I can actually see the headlights to Mr. Krabs' boat. We, are, we gotta freaking get there. These guys, I mean, they're not, they're not too, super close, but we gotta get the freak out of here, all right? I'm not lingering around. Here we go. Come on, let's do this. Can we escape? Press E to escape. And bada bing, bada boom. We did this junk. Okay, Mr. Krabs is making his escape. All right. Very eerie. You escaped. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Another Dave Microwave Games down. So I guess that's it for 3 a.m. at Floater Cemetery. Now, compared to 3 a.m. at the Krusty Krab and all of the other SpongeBob spinoff games that Dave has made, this one definitely felt a lot more simple, but I guess that's really all the game needed. Considering it was DLC to the original game, I do think it captured the essence of what this game was actually supposed to be, and it did a really good job at doing that. But like I said in the beginning of this video, if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to see more indie games, leave a like on the video. Maybe we can hit 20 likes on it. Maybe. That'd be cool. 
But with all that said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, definitely be sure to leave a like on this video. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. But with all that stuff said, you guys, I will see you in the next video. So until then, keep on being stellar. Wow.